Jumping up, sit, lining up, sit, run the race, cause clearly the time is now. Run the world and you see me another day. Birds and squirrels merely point you, they point you the way. See them pass now, lining up, sit, lining up, sit. I don't know who said that. Living the vagabond lifestyle was easy. In fact, I don't think anyone said that. Yo, I've been living the vagabond lifestyle, and uh, it's it's a load. It's a load. And for a while, I was like, man, I'm so tired of moving every year. It was like every year, I would pack up and get a new apartment. Every year for like eight years in a row from like 2000, basically from like 1998 to 2000. Seven, eight. Then I had a place for like three years, which was nice. Now I'm moving every month. I'm packing up and, and I've got rid of a lot of shit. See, as you can see. Yeah, right. Got rid of a lot of shit. I have so much stuff. I'm not happy about it. Uh, in fact, I can probably get rid of a lot of stuff. Still. I mean, look at all these shirts. I don't wear these shirts. I haven't worn this. Oh, I like this shirt. This shirt's pretty nice. I try not to wear it because I like it so much. So it's like special, spectacular. This shirt, I haven't given enough attention lately. You may or may not have seen that before. What about this shirt? Beautiful. I just got it dry cleaned. See, I like these shirts. That, obviously. This shirt's nice because it's long sleeve. Oh, this shirt, whatever. It's, it's a green-blue collared shirt. And I don't really have any other ones. You know, like... This shirt. I just don't have other shirts like it. I lie. It's decent. Whatever. I have this this fucking shirt with Matt Ascenti on it. This was like his wedding present. I mean, look at that. It's hideous. In a gorgeous, beautiful way. But it's like an extra large shirt. I can't... I can't... I can't fit it. But that picture... I have to... I must. I must. Um... So I am, uh... I'm kind of tired of this vagabond lifestyle. It's not bad. It's kind of exciting. Like packing everything into my car and I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. I think I'm going to sleep on that bed tonight. And um, God knows where I'll be tomorrow. I might sleep in my car. Maybe I'll go sleep in Connecticut. It's kind of exciting because I love life and I love what I'm doing. Um... And I feel like I'm like right under the surface of fame, like right under the surface of reality, like right under the surface of like the big time. And I've been there and I've just been like, I have this straw that's like sticking up above the surface where I'm getting air. And it's like, you know, I, not ever, everyone's like, where the fuck is Ian? What the fuck is wrong with that guy? And But that's like my mind. I'm like, oh, uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? I've been living this bizarre, like kind of quiet in the back seat which is not what I had intended I've, I've since I was like 16 I wanted to just blow uh, the world out of the water then when I saw how easy it was to do that I was like why do I want to do that what am I what am I gonna do why do I want to get popular why it's not just about that because I want to walk into a room and I don't want to have to introduce myself I want people to already know who I am but then I experienced that and people thought they knew who I was and there was the big misunderstanding because, you know, that I can see how maybe like a, someone like a movie star or something might get a little frustrated that people think they know who they are just because they saw their work. And then I realized, oh, I kind of have to introduce, I kind of have to get to know someone for them to know me. That was a very interesting learning experience. Um, yeah, this, this traveling around every couple weeks to a month is like, it would be easy if I had about half of the clothing... And none of that shit. But like, I need a cut. You know, I can't. I can't live without a cutting board. You gotta have that. And like, what would I do without this? I couldn't cook. I'd have to rely on the kindness of other people's spatulas. I'm not really into that. I like to have my own spatula. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, that was. Uh. And, you know, I, I, I can't get enough Kent State t-shirts. Um, what else? You know, like, you know, let's just, let's just examine it. I, you know, I can't, I can't get rid of this blue Ethernet cord, even though it's been in a bag for a year. 
And that tie, you know, I wore that tie out one night. So what would I do without it? Maybe wear one of those ties. I got them all dry cleaned. This shirt. This shirt was a dollar. I like the way it fits. Oh, God, I have so many fucking clothes. These are my hats. These are my jackets and towel. And, you know, I got my big-ass computer. And then I got my little-ass computer. That's a pain in the ass to move around, but that can't run a lot of the programs that that can run. Oh, snap. Um, and then what else? I got all that shit under the bed. You think, oh, that's not that much stuff. Well, I got that. Which is a giant fucking Tupperware container. And then I've got another giant Tupperware container. And uh, another bunch of stuff. It's too much stuff. It's too much stuff. If I had a house, which I had in L.A., I had this house that I was at for like a few years. I had a house that was worth of stuff. I had every room was, was filled to the brim. I was like, oh, I'll get a tree. I had a tree in the house, courtesy of the Bertolamis. I had a drum kit. I had a giant computer. I had a, you know, an end table and a couch and a bed and, uh, you know, a fucking huge shelving unit and a huge television and, and, uh, accoutrement to fill the galaxy. Now I just want to, now I just want to kind of travel around. But I can't give this up. I mean, what am I going to do without this? Buy another one? What if someone was like, hey, toss me the Nerf football? And I'm like, man, I would, but I don't have one. I'd be so disappointed. Look, it's my family. Hi, family. Look at Max's hat. And you know... This football needs air. I've had this football for like a year and a half or something. And I don't think I've tossed it to someone in about a year. That If you want to throw a spiral, it's, it's in the core. A lot of it's in the, the turning of the core. Okay, i got to get back to packing. Oh yeah, I had stuff up there too. That's a big... Uh, there's an air mattress, which I have intended to use and haven't yet because all the places I've landed at have had beds.